Hello and welcome to another daily devotional. It's so great to be back with you. This week we are continuing to explore Sunday funnies. And I have another one that I want to share with you this week. It's um, another from the far side. You notice that we're doing a lot of far sides. That's because we love Gary Larson. He is the best. And we have another one today. And this one takes place on Noah's Ark. And what you see is Noah standing there with like, two bears and two zebras and two lions and two giraffe and they're in this little huddle and kind of sticking out from the end of the huddle you see these two hooves sticking up out of the out of the mess and uh, Noah says something a lot like well I guess that's it for the unicorn but from now on carnivores have to stay on deck B <laughs> oh Gary Larson he's so twisted but I love it and I love this because it is an opportunity to talk about the Bible. There are so many times in which I think we feel like the Bible is sort of outdated and not really uh, applicable to our lives in a way that's helpful. It's full of these weird stories that are kind of like unicorns and fairy tales, we think. And it's out there and it's hard for us to understand how these stories about arcs and angels and babies born have anything to do with the way we live right now, but they do. The Bible is, as I always told my confirmation students, the faith story of a people that were journeying with God. It was their experiences of what it was to be God's people. And yes, some of the stories do seem a little bit out there sometimes, but just today, for instance, I was having a Bible study with some of the women from my church, and we were reading the book of Acts, and we read something that was so very pertinent to the way we're living right now. One of the women said, it's like I'm reading the newspaper. These stories are about God, God's interaction with humanity throughout history. And so it is applicable and powerful and beautiful. It's about life and love and death and resurrection and rebirth and all of these things. And so I invite you to dive into the Bible and find the stories that work for you. Find the stories that touch your life where you are right now. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen.